In today's video, I'm going to discuss current state of the mini cart and what I have found along the way. I have tried several different sets of wheels. I've tried many different tires. As you know, before I had the 72450 running the KR5B, then I switched to the FW11, and now I have installed the 72680. Just kind of wanted to give an overall update of what I think about this current setup. It is finally kind of perfected. I've actually gone back to the original four inch wheels, which are a tube setup. I've tried numerous tires. I couldn't get any that would be smooth at high speeds. And when I did find them, some that were smooth at high speeds, they had, I know this might sound crazy, but too much grip on the street where I would rather slide around a turn than it hook and grab and want to tip over. It is not on the ground like an actual street cart. So you do not want street cart tires on an off-road cart. It's just you're you're too high off the ground, your center of gravity is too high. We want to slide on the street. We do not want to flip over. And you know, if this was a street cart where your butt's one inch off the ground, it'd be a different story. Run sticky tires, run slicks. But since I like to go from grass to street to sidewalk and all over the place and be a complete goon on this thing, I want tires that kind of can do everything as well as possible. So these do slip a little bit in the grass but it's it's a it's a controllable amount of slip and as you're going to see in this video it is perfectly fine on the grass it is great on the street i'm going to show you me hitting some turns video of me flying on this straightaway here where it's bumpy you're going to see those bumps it is you know none of this is flat you're going to see how well the dnm suspension is working this setup has really come together and if you guys are looking to build one and you ride in kind of the environments that i do which is kind of a street trail mix I believe this is the setup. I've experimented with all kinds of parts on this thing. And I believe this is kind of the final, in my opinion, perfected state of this part. Anything else I've tried just wasn't as good. I do say the FW11 is better if you can spend on the 72680. If you're running a 72450, the KR5V the difference between the FW11 and the KR5V is not gonna be that apparent because you don't you, you at 200 battery amps and 450 fave amps, there's only a, a, a marginal difference. But this motor is handling 250 amps so far today. I mean, I might cook this motor tomorrow, but I'm just saying it's it's handling it today. So this was just, I wanted to give this update. As you can see, FW11, uh, 72680. This controller is it, man. I should have done this way sooner. Um, the DNM, um, the DNM air shocks, amazing. So this is the setup. I love it. It, it does wheelies. It, it hauls. I mean, it moves around turns on the street. It does well enough off-road in the grass and on trail. Um, I do have a separate set of wheels for this that have full-blown knobby or bigger tires for sand. When I go to Busco Beach again, I will be running those tires only, but those tires will never see street. These are my tires for, these are my all-terrain tire. I love them. I know they don't look cool. I know there's other cooler looking tires, but to, it's not just about looking cool. It is about having the best tire for the job. These are the only tires in the four inch rim by tennis tall tire that I've tried. And I've tried them all, I think. These are the only ones that are actually round. Every other one I've bought, they are not round. They all shake at speed. These are pretty smooth. I'm doing 60 miles an hour. As I will show you, you will see me on a flyby. I'm doing 60 miles an hour on street and off road and these tires are doing it and they've they've been amazing and tread life is actually pretty good on these they actually last so yeah this is the setup guys i hope you love it i hope you enjoy watching it 